So if I am looking to hire a digital marketing agency and I just want to know what kind of agency I should go for, I, should, I, I don't want to go for a cowboy agency, what do you recommend? So with regards to a digital marketing agency, generally speaking, they'll be holistic, so they might be able to do SEO, content writing, social media, PPC. So I'd want to try to understand what strategies are they good at? Are they good at all round, all the different strategies? Um, or are they just going to literally pigeonhole me into just saying you need to do Facebook ads? Now, Facebook ads don't doesn't work for, let's say, locksmiths. Yeah. So I want to try and understand, okay, are they good and do they have in-house staff or quality staff that's able to do a holistic suite of digital marketing, which is what I might need. I might need some PPC, I might need some retargeting going onto Facebook, and I might need a bit of SEO to try and improve my branding. So I would be asking them the questions, what strategies do they use? And if it's a fixed strategy and they don't modify it and make it custom per industry, I'd be running a mile if they're not, it has to be a custom strategy per industry. I think, um, yeah, you, you make a really good point, especially with um, like the, the, the contracts and stuff like that. So um, one, one thing that I would be asking them is like, how long is the contract? And then a follow up question as well, because I see a lot of digital marketing agencies that do do this. And if they, if, if they are doing this, I'll run a mile, is some digital marketing companies, they have their own custom built CMS or potentially they try to tie you in with, with like, let's say HubSpot. Um, and when you're tied into their custom CMS or when they're tied, when, when you're tied into HubSpot, even if you were to bin off that digital marketing agency and stop working with them, you still need to pay for that CMS system. So just make certain that there isn't any sly things like that that they're trying to get you to, to sign up for. Cause a lot of digital marketing agencies, businesses go to them and they're like, Hey, I need everything done. Um, I've been more of a brick and mortar style business. Now I want to move a little bit more online. I need a website, I need everything. And the first step is obviously they, they might build them out a HubSpot um, website or, or, or on the HubSpot CMS. Yeah, for sure. I think the next question, probably the most important question to ask a digital marketing agency is how much are you? Yeah. What's your costs? What's your prices? But what you want to try to do is give them the strat. Not, don't give them the strategy. You give them the end goal of what you want. Okay, I am looking to generate... 30 new inquiries every single day that's landing in my inbox. That is the end goal. What do you think I should do? Yeah. Right. And then allow them to come back with the strategy and you can go to five or six different digital marketing agencies asking them the same question. You can sit down then look at what budget that they're saying that is needed for your end goal and then see what, how much they would allocate. So if they're saying this is going to cost 15,000 pounds a month mm -hmm. and we would spend Five thousand on SEO and five thousand on PPC and three thousand pounds on YouTube ads and two thousand pounds on Facebook retargeting. You might go, oh, that seems like an alright strategy. Then the next person might come along and say, no, you only need eight thousand. And I've got kind of experience in this industry, and you spend eight thousand, and I would spend this here, 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 and here. Um, or I wouldn't do this strategy because YouTube ads doesn't work well in this industry. Yeah. Then at that point, you're then going, well, I don't know if YouTube ads doesn't well work well in that industry, you can go back and ask the question to the other digital marketing agency saying, have you run YouTube ads for this industry before? And how, how did it work? Yeah. And if they're uh, 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 and stuttering, well, at that point you're going, they're not the right yeah, yeah. digital marketing agency I should be using. So not only the price, but the price with the strategy and where the budget's going to be spent is really important. So price, cost, really important question to ask a digital marketing agency. I think um, the, the next question would probably be, um, what am I getting for for that price? Okay, I'm, I'm spending 15,000 a month with you. What, okay, you're, you're saying I should do SEO, you're saying I should do PPC, and you're saying I should also do um, Facebook ads. If, say for example, that's the free strategies that they've told you that they're gonna go down, uh, maybe go and watch a couple of videos on, on each of them. Go and watch a couple of SEO videos, go and watch a couple of PPC videos, go and watch a couple of Facebook ads videos, so you actually understand the lingo and then you can go back to them and say like, okay, so the Facebook ads, how much are you actually going to spend on the ad campaign? How much of the actual £5,000 that I'm paying you for the Facebook ads is going towards the actual um, ad spend? And how much are you taking for a management fee? Um, same goes with like the PPC side of stuff. With the SEO, 
um, what, what are they actually doing with your money? How many blog articles are, are you getting? How many links are they building? Um, are they doing any technical SEO? Or do, do you need to provide them with images? Are they sourcing the images? Um, are they even doing any link building? Um, so uh, these are all valid questions, especially when you are looking to hire a digital marketing agency. Yeah, I think you touched on there that like it's not just the strategy at the front end, it's then what reporting I'm going to get at the back of it. Yeah. So I want to know I'm a business owner, I'm driven by KPIs, I want to know what return on investment I'm getting, I want to know how many impressions I'm getting, I want to know how many clicks I'm getting, I want to know how many leads I'm getting, and how many leads that are converting into profit. Yeah. Right. I want to know that information. Now, yes, I understand from an SEO standpoint that that might be a long-term play. I understand from a reputation management point of view in, in making certain I'm shouting and screaming from the rooftop about awards that I've won and all the rest of it. There might not be a direct ROI on that, but it's built brand building. And brand building, you don't really track as being that, but that should be set in an allocation mm -hmm. to a budget of going £3,000 a year, you're not tracking but this is just for getting a better reputation online. And you might go, yeah, do you know what? I can see what you're saying. It will improve conversion rate further down the line for all my inquiries. I'm, I'm happy to spend that. £4,000 on PPC. I want to know how much it is per lead. I want to try and drive that cost per lead down, but I want to make certain that the leads that are being generated are quality and they are converting. Or if it's an e-commerce, I want to know how much I'm selling from that PPC campaign. Yeah. So the reporting at the back end of it, at the end of the month that I get back, I want to make certain everything is being tracked. And I don't mind them putting a management fee on what they're spending on PPC, but I want to know exactly what it is. I want to see how much has been spent with Google and how much I've lined their pockets with profit mm -hmm. for doing the management. So generally speaking, it's normally around 10, 15, maximum 20%. There is some agencies now charging up to 30%. I think that's too much. I think you should be looking for an agency around 15 to 20% um, and yeah, then tracking the return on investment. What about communication? Because um, obviously, as a business owner yourself, uh, you, you, if you were going to go and outsource your digital market, I know, I know that you wouldn't because we've got our own in-house team and stuff like that, but um, if, say, for example, you went to a digital marketing agency and they said, right, James, you need to spend... On PPC, you also need to spend a little bit on Facebook ads and you also need to do a little bit of SEO. That's their strategy, their, their free things that they've told you. Would you expect free account managers or would you expect one? It completely depends, right? I would expect an account manager to deal with my account, right? And if I'm being honest with you, I'm kind of an, I would kind of be a nightmare client if I'm being honest. <laughs> because if I've got a question with, excuse me, why did you spend £2,000 on these keywords? I want to know the answers and there's not, it's pointless to be speaking to an account manager that didn't run the PPC account. So the, I would want an account manager who then puts me in touch with the person that ran the PPC. And I want to know, it doesn't have to be on a telephone call. It can be on a loom video. If that's, if they're async and they're only doing it where they don't do calls, they only do um, email. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with it. As long as I get a response to some questions that I might be asking them. Yeah. But if I've spent 2000 pounds, right on keywords, that got jobs and careers in, and I'm not looking to hire someone for what they do, mm -hmm. and they've not loaded that into the negative keyword list, what, I, I'll be a nightmare. Because I would say, I'm not paying the management fee, because you've not done any management of that. Mm -hmm. £2,000 is not right. I get if it was £50 or £100 or maybe even £200 that you've spent on jobs and careers, yeah. but you've obviously not looked at this account. You've obviously not spent the time to go into it. So why are you charging a management fee when you've not actually been managing the account? Yeah, yeah. Because like that is just inexcusable. It's just not right. It's like paying for a quality content writer that uses spun content or just AI and it hallucinates and it's just gobbledygook and it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. If I'm paying someone for a premium content, if I'm paying someone for AI content, that's fine. That's my risk. That's my risk tolerance to say, I'm happy to do that. But if I'm paying an expert writer who uses AI or something like that, I want to know, do you think that that sentence makes, makes sense? I want to know that they, do you genuinely believe that that paragraph makes sense? If they say no, well, what, wait, wait a minute, you've wrote that. Yeah. Like, you can't say no, you've got to say yeah and stick up for yourself. Because if you say no, who wrote it? Mm. Oh, you outsourced it to a cheap South African or Filipino. Again, that would be fine 
as long as they're not charging premium top dollar prices. I don't mind outsourcing to virtual assistants. Some Filipino writers and South African writers better than writing than I am. Yeah. I just want the honesty. Mm. So yes, from an account manager point of view, I want to be able to speak to them and I want to be able to make certain that I understand I'm getting best bang for my book. Yeah, have we, have we spoken about case studies? So, yeah, I mean, case studies and testimonials are mega important as well. I don't, I've not touched upon it. So, digital marketing agencies should have case studies. And I want a case study being seen for the industry that I'm in. Right. Like, I want to make certain that they've got the, or at least a, a close proximity kind of industry. Mm -hmm. So, they turn around and go, I'm, I'm re we're really, really, really good at scaling up e commerce Shopify stores. And I'm looking for carpet cleaning lead generation on WordPress. I'm like, maybe you're not the right agency for me. Right, but if it's but if it, if it was that they was brilliant at Shopify stores and they was done a lot of products selling gaming chairs and I'm trying to sell laptops, well, it's still in tech, it's still in tech, it's still e-commerce. I'm all right. Yeah, the these seem like a good agency. I don't then want to deal with a WordPress developer that isn't used to Shopify. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So like, I'm looking to try and make certain that they're experts in the field of what they're doing and case studies and testimonials. Yeah, is is a great way of tracking that. Is there anything else that you would ask? Just really making certain that they're not tying me into long-term contracts. Yeah. Um, I want to make certain with regards to digital marketing, I've got a rolling contract. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want a 12-month contract because after a month or two months, if I'm not seeing value, you know, I don't want... SEO is a long-term play. CRO, I need to make certain I'm, I'm giving them enough data to be able to improve on CRO. But with regards to PPC... Like you want to start seeing them, them prices of the leads or the prices of the sales coming down. Yeah. When you first have it being set up, yes, it might cost you a little bit more before you start loading in the negative keyword list. Yes, it might cost you a little bit more before you've improved the conversion rate of the site. And yes, you might be testing certain campaigns out, but within two months, I should be seeing improvements. And if I'm not, well, I might be like having those awkward conversations to say, maybe you're not the right digital marketing agency for us. So trying to ask the right questions at the front end will eliminate the need for you jumping ship and using different digital marketing agencies. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the, the, the last thing that I would do, even before hiring a digital marketing agency, is looking to get a fractional CMO. Because... A fractional CMO, like their entire job is to basically eliminate any issues or eliminate any potential big money burners that you might have. So, for example, myself and James, we've done fractional CMO calls with a lot of companies over the years. So we know what works, what doesn't work in a lot of different industries. So, for example, if you're looking to up up, um, start spending more on PPC or start spending more on Facebook ads, we can actually say to you, well, actually, do you know what? Facebook ads, because you're a locksmith, it's not going to work. You might want to actually double down on PPC and you might want to double down on your SEO campaign. But let's say, for example, you're a D2C brand and you are wanting to double your sales. We might say, well, actually, do you know what? SEO, yes, keep investing into SEO, but if you want more of a, a short-term um, goal, maybe start spending a little bit more on Facebook ads. So we can es essentially advise you on that. And we've also got a lot of agencies that we already know that we recommend, whether it's a CRO agency, whether it is an SEO agency, a PPC agency, a digital PR agency. We've got all the connections, so we will be able to essentially connect you up with any of those companies. Um, but if you guys do want to hire us, make certain to check out fatrank.com, fill in the contact form, or check the link down below, and we will be in touch.